Hey, yo guys, welcome to the final AliExpress Lego haul. Now, this does not mean I'm not, I'm gonna stop collecting Legos and all that jazz, but I'm just gonna rename the series, um, just like, you know, in that Lego haul series, and I'm just gonna start off again with, um, just Shane showcases or something like that. Ah, it's, still, uh, it's still a work in progress, but, um, I, you know, I, since I stopped doing live streams and stuff, you know, it's not really a Lego haul anymore, like, live anymore, it's just... More like a video telling you guys what figures I just got. So, it's more like a showcase. So, we got these figures here, plus this this one I just got. Yeah, so, I'm gonna kind of try to break all of them down. So, we're gonna start off with this PS4 Spider-Man suit. This is the second one I've gotten, but this is a different design. This one has the more traditional lighter red than the darker red. Now, this figure... It, it's, it looks pretty good. It, it's, it is a pretty good figure. Let me raise the arms up so you guys can see the side printing. Now, the only problem I have with this figure, the, the colors, they're just a bit off. So you see, we have this, this bright red right there. And then we have the kind of like a darker red here. So this was printed onto the figure, but this is like the actual color of the minifigure. So, like, because these legs are blue. And they added that red. So that's the only problem I have with it. It's, it's really annoying. Especially, you can't really notice it that much. Except for when you get to the front. Uh, this piece right here. Like, it's supposed to just be a continuation of, like, the, um, what is it? Like, the torso area. But you see, it's like a completely different shade of red there. And every time I look at it, it that's, like, the only thing that really bugs me. Um, besides that, um, the head... It's something I might change out if I ever use this figure, like an actual stop motion or something, because it just, the printing, the web printing on the face just stops too early. So, like, it leaves you with, like, this awkward design, and it kind of stops early on the black back a little bit. And, yeah, you see, I don't know why they did that. I'd be giving this one uh, a 7 out of 10. So, yeah, I'm going to start ranking things now, because I want to. Next, we have... Miles Morales, Spooderman. Uh, as you can see, this is like him with his, his like his hoodie and you know pants and stuff on. And you see, they printed out the Nike shoes right there, like they actually did like the swish and everything. So here we have, you know, it comes with this, this thing right here. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It, I guess it's supposed to be like you know, cause he was sticking name tags on things. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Here we have. Miles with, you know, without all that, the clothes, just like the actual suit itself. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. You see, it's just a black head on the back, it, but on this one, you know, the printing on it goes all the way around. Uh, well, not all the way around, but it has printing on the back of the Spider-Man head instead. And I think these are two different prints. Like, they, they got less detailed on the hoodie version. If it will focus for me. There, alright, see? Like, the hoodie version of the mask compared to the regular version, like, it's less printing. So, yeah, so this, it is a pretty solid figure. I, I'd give this one, uh, well, this figure in specific, uh, in specific because I ordered another one on accident. But I'm actually kind of glad I did because they gave me a misprint, almost. Um, it won't focus. Uh, like, you see, it's white right there when, you know, it's not really supposed to be. Uh, you see that right there. Like, I think it kind of, like, chipped off a bit, but I didn't chip it off. It, it, I just got it like that, so. But besides that, it's a pretty good figure. Um, the only thing that's kind of holding back as well is it doesn't, like, the webbing doesn't go on the back, and then you kind of got that white thing right there. But, besides that, it's a pretty good figure. Next, we have Captain America. Um, and the only thing that stands out to me about this figure, because everything else is really slacking, is kind of the transparent shield. Because, yeah, this shield is transparent. I don't know, I don't even know it was transparent when I got it. But it is, and the printing on it is kind of whack as well. But I kind of like the concept. It kind of reminds me of the... New Avengers, I think it was, when he had a transparent... Well, his kid had a transparent shield. I don't think it was him. Here we have the stealth suit. But this is like the comic version of the stealth suit. 
so you can see it has you know a bit of red printing on there you know because you kind of ditched the red for this suit which is basically blue and brown and white uh but the, another thing that's holding this figure back is a face i know like they might made his eyebrows blonde but it, you see it's focused but that's just how bad the print is like, the print on his face is just that. It's messed up in real life. I mean, it's a pretty solid figure. I like the design. I like what they were going for, the comic cell suit. They did that pretty well. I'll give them that. They they did the comic cell suit pretty well. But besides that, you know, it's not really very appealing. The transparent shield is kind of scratchy. So next off we have, this is Bill Foster. Uh, you know, was it? Goliath, yeah. Now, I don't know if this is based off of actual concept art, but whoever made this design, thank you so much. I like this suit so much, even though I have no place for it ever. Like, I don't know when I'd be able to use this literally ever, but I love this design so much. Um, this it comes with this face, which is kind of weird, and then this face right here, which is like his regular face, but I don't even know why they gave you this one. Because, you know, the mouth is going to be the only thing that you'll be able to see here. I mean, I guess you might be able to see the eyes thing. But the whole forehead thing, you're not going to see at all. So, But it comes with a screw, I think this is supposed to be. And then a hair piece for, like, if you're just using this face. Uh, you can just, like, stick it on there, I guess. Let me turn the head around. So yeah, Bill Foster right here. Now he looks really young. Like I, I don't think this is, like was modeled off the actual actor. I forgot. I think it's Lawrence Fishburne is his name. But I mean, he looks really like just to me. He doesn't look like that sixty year old man. I don't, I'm I'm just assuming he's sixty. I don't know how old he is. But um, this, this, he looks like he's you know around thirty maybe. So I don't know what they were going for there. But you know it it's like an Ant Man suit. It's like the Ant Man suit, but you know it's blue and it has this kind of its own feel and i actually like this figure a lot next up is daredevil all right uh now this is a pretty solid figure besides the face now i like i like this helmet thing that they did here props to i think this is kapoff the same guys who made this kopoff or whatever but this helmet mold is amazing i like I mean, the execution is pretty good. Like, I don't see Lego doing this, so, you know. They, they, I don't think they just based this off of, you know, the actual mask. Like, this helmet doesn't remind me of anything. Like, like the actual mold doesn't remind me of anything. And you can actually literally get this for about 80 cents, this whole figure. So, that's a whole steal. Um, now, I already have a perfect Daredevil Shane's Customs planned. But I'm probably not going to end up doing it this season because this is going to be, this first season, is I'm going to stick it to the 10 episodes that usually Shane's Customs used to be. But for season two, I'm going all out. I'm, I don't even know how many episodes it's going to be. Just the whole face print itself. I, I actually show you the face. It's just really nasty. I like what they were trying to go for here. But since, you know, they're not good at making faces, it didn't really go well. So, good concept for everything else and even the face but you know just print better i guess i don't know and one other thing that's holding it back is this accessory that i got that it came with nelson and murdoch a turdets at law well a turdets sad law because a turdets sat is is one word on here so they they tried next up is minerva from this is from captain marvel uh, if you haven't seen Captain Marvel, you might not know who this is, or read the comics, you might not know who this is. This is Minerva. She's like a villain of Captain Marvel's in the comics, and she's also in Star Force, I think, in the movie, yeah, I think. But yeah, here's her in her Kree suit, you know, got her gun and, you know, sash and scarf and stuff. So, yeah, it's a double-sided face as well. Got the angry Minerva. And, you know, the regular, still, I'm gonna kill you, but I'm happy about it, Minerva. Alright, next up is Miles Morales in his Spooderman suit, uh, costume that he got from Stan Lee. 
Uh, again, we have the Nike shoes printed on here. Uh, I don't know what this gold is supposed to be. I don't know where that's from. Uh, was that, is that like the, just the end of the costume or something? I don't know. Because there's no gold on these. I don't think they're a part of the shoe. So, but yeah, the costume is printed pretty well. Uh, you know, it gives it, it gives it that costume look, you know, especially I like the face, how they did the face. Um, but the arms are pretty solid. Like I could actually use these on an actual Spider-Man figure. The arms are pretty solid and the torso, you know, it just makes it look like a Spider-Man costume. So, and the same with the legs and then, yeah, that also kind of gives it away. But no, no mask printing on the back, which I don't even think there was. I mean, if I was making a cheap Spider-Man costume, I wouldn't put anything on the back. But yeah, pretty solid figure. Next up is Peter B. Parker. Um, now this, you know, he got that little giant wrinkle. He still has the abs, like usual Spider-Man minifigures have. But it has, you know, the... It's not 3D printed or anything, but in that line's supposed to be like his his big stomach because you know he was kind of overweight in the movie um and so yeah they kind of did that pretty well uh the arms are all right i think miles's arms are better than his arms which is kind of sad um and then another thing about yeah another thing that's kind of holding all the figure the spider-man figures the home sorry spider-man into the spider-verse figures back is that their eyes are kind of too big and wide I think, like, I don't know, I mean, the bigness is, I don't think I'm saying that right, but, like, how big they are, I think that's accurate, but they're kind of too wide, uh, at least they just look like it to me, like, if we were to compare these two, they just look like they're too far apart, and it's kind of throwing me off a bit, really just on this one, not really on Miles, but really on this figure, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, probably because I'm used to the other print, like the MCU print, so, these legs are pretty good, just kind of sad the printing stops on the back, but besides that, and also this, which is kind of stopping me from using these, like, replacing these as the legs for my perfect Spider-Man, um, this, yeah, that, that, like, it just, like, if you want to, like, turn his head up just a little bit, you see the red, that's, that's, like, actually, like, the base color of the legs. Next up is this, 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 whatever this is supposed to be. I literally don't know why I got this. I really don't. Like, I think I was getting it because of that hair. And I was thinking of using that hair on Black Widow or Jean Grey or someone like that. Um, but now I have this figure. This is made by the same people who made Captain America and the, the, uh, other Spider-Man. The, the PS4 Spider-Man, by the way. That you can tell from the face. So, the hair is, it's like, now that I have it, it's like a whole anime girl hair. Like, this is the hair that you see on, like, the Lego anime figures that they have on there that I never buy. Like, this is exactly what that is, so I really don't know why I bought this. The pistol mold is okay. You know, it has, like, you know, some things I might have to cut off with some scissors, but besides that, it's alright. I, I really, I really don't know what, why they gave her like double d's like printed on here i i honestly don't know so it's yeah i'm just gonna turn this around next we have the prowler from into the spider verse um this is it right here uh now the only thing holding this back this figure back from being a almost solid like really solid figure is like the, i think they kind of messed up on the chest a little bit like the symbol on the chest and then whatever this monstrosity is supposed to be. Like, I know what they were trying to do, but no matter how hard I try to fix it, it won't do, like, it won't, like, do the thing like it's supposed to. Like, this side, it's pretty good. And then the middle is, like, well, why is it becoming retarded? And then this this side just won't go up at all. And then the cape itself is kind of short, too. So I might have to customize this a little bit just to make it work. But yeah, besides that, it's pretty accurate. Just kind of like, they made the scarf and the hood. I mean, like, the actual cape, two different colors. I don't know why they did that. But, yeah, it was a pretty, it's a pretty solid figure. Just the cape and the chest is kind of holding it back. So, last figure, guys. Um, now, I literally only got this figure for its accessories. 
But now that I got it, this is actually a good print. The chat torso and kind of legs because it's kind of continues on the legs. Print, I might actually be using this for the Avengers stop motion in the moment here. Um, so, yeah, so this is Hope. Wait, Janet, wait. This is Hope Van Dyne, the the daughter, the daughter one, not the not the wife, the daughter. This is Hope Van Dyne from Ant Man and the Wasp. No, no, this is Hope Van Dyne from the first Ant Man, and she comes with the grow. Uh, wait, no, grow. Wait. <sighs> I don't really care. The grow and shrink the things that they use for, you know, the grow and shrink stuff. It comes with this hair piece and, you know, face that I might be using in the good torso. Solid 8 out of 10 because I only bought it for the accessories. Goodbye.